Hi, my name is Cosimo. Three weeks ago, ZMT released version 5.0 of its C4 Live simulation platform. The new version has many important new features, including a set of unstructured low frequency electromagnetic finite element method solvers and supporting tools such as a high quality measure. Let's test drive version 5 for a neurostimulation application today by evaluating thresholds for electrical activation of the vagus nerve by a pair of cuff electrodes. The objectives here are to estimate recruitment curves and selectivity indices. First, a histological cross-section image of the vagus nerve is imported into c life version 5. With the help of the integrated ISEG segmentation freeware, I can easily identify the principal tissues, such as epineurium, fascicles, vessels, and connective tissue. Alternatively, advanced CAD functionalities within c life can be used to perform segmentation manually. Once the segmentation is complete, I import Yunsun version 4, one of the detailed computational anatomical human phantom in the ETS virtual population library, and identify the trajectory of the vagus nerve. I can now extrude the 2D cross sections of the segmented nerve along this trajectory to create a detailed image based model of the nerve. I can extrude the 2D mesh along nerve trajectories and accurately create prismatic and hexahedral element-based unstructured meshes. These can be not only visualized, but also edited with the advanced meshing tool, which greatly accelerates the development of nerve models with improved accuracy and realism. This is one of the great new features of sim for life version 5. As the final step, I import the CAD models of commonly employed CAF electrodes that I prepared for today's video and position them around the nerve. I can use Python or the CAD functionalities of C4Life to create other electro geometries as needed. The use of unstructured meshes turns out to be highly effective. It allows small geometric features, for example, the fascicles of nerves, to be represented without introduction of the staircasing artifacts and the explosion of the mesh size that occur when rectilinear grids are used. Electrodes can also be introduced with sufficient discretization. Unstructured meshes also allow fine thin insulating layers, such as the perineurium, to be modeled. The quality of the tools available to the user for investigation and improvement of mesh quality in this first version of the mesher is already outstanding. Another very important advantage of the new finite element method solvers is that they can be used to simulate heterogeneous tissues with high levels of the electric anisotropy such as the endoneurium and the thin insulating interfaces. See how easy it is to visualize the calculated electric fields with a few clicks, for example, along slices. The fields can also be exported as vector plots for inspections. I can use the Python interface or the GUI CAD tools shown here to create axonal trajectories within the fascicles to execute neuronal simulations. The trajectories are converted into parametrized electrophysiological models of myelinated or unmyelinated axon models with arbitrary fiber diameter distributions. The unmyelinated axon models are among the new features in this latest version of c life The coupling between any calculated electric field distribution and the neuronal simulation is straightforward, and simulation thresholds can be simulated for arbitrary pulse waveforms even for multiple independent sources. The built-in titration procedures allow stimulation thresholds to be estimated for each fiber in the nerve model and individual sites of spike initiation to be identified. Using this information, I was able to create nerve-specific recruitment curves and calculate selective indices that can be used to optimize a neurostimulation device. The pipeline I just demonstrated is very general. It can be applied directly to any arbitrary complex neurostimulation model that features image-based nerve anatomy and an implanted medical device, such as an electroceutical or a neuroprosthetic, to optimize electrodes or waveforms, position electrodes, evaluate safety, and much, much more. The improved speed of the neuronal stimulator is also very impressive. Compared to the previous versions of sim life simulations of a large number of fibers and elongated nerves can be performed as much as 10 times faster. Overall, the new finite element method solvers in C4Life version 5, combined with the integration of highly detailed VIP models and other built-in tools such as the sweeper and optimizer, bring 
image-based neurostimulation models of nerves to exciting new levels. The EDIS Foundation has already used these new tools to test a variety of real-case scenarios, including a redesign of electroceuticals like spinal cord stimulators, facilitation of translational studies from animal to human, and the electrophysiological impact of electromagnetic exposure for safety investigations. If you are interested in learning more, please contact us at info at zmt.swiss. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.